Thomas chuffed along the branch line, thinking about his new friend Jack. I hope he's doing better today, Puff Thomas. Yesterday, Jack had broken the rules and had gotten into trouble. The pack was widening the road beneath the old quarry bridge. Jack and Alfie were loading nags. Dust and dirt flew everywhere. Work had never been so much fun. Jenny wouldn't let him stay. Ned, the steam shovel, was cheerfully clearing rocks. Ned has a big bucket and a big heart. Sometimes his bucket is too full. Careful, Bumble Bucket. Sorry, said Ned cheerfully. Thomas couldn't wait to get to the old bridge. He knew the pack was working there. He could see how Jack was doing. Back at the site, the foreman shouted, Oliver, this topsoil needs moving now. I'll move it, cried Jack. Jack! Before anyone could stop him, Jack raced under the bridge. He was about to fill his bucket when he remembered Miss Jenny's warning. Don't jump in where you don't belong. Oliver, he said, this is your job, not mine. Thank you, said Oliver politely. Well done, Jack, called Kelly. Yes, well done, chimed Alfie and Isabella. Jack beamed proudly. Later, Ned was moving under the bridge. His oiler had told him to lower his crane arm. I must be careful. I must be careful. I must be careful. Then there was trouble. Ned hadn't lowered his crane arm far enough. It knocked loose the important keystones. The bridge started to crumble. Thomas puffed towards the bridge, unaware of the danger ahead. Thomas! Jack jumped in and lifted his front loader up against the bridge. He pushed with all his might. Thomas saw the flagman. His driver applied the brakes, but it was too late. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. Jack didn't let go. Finally, Thomas's driver backed Thomas to safety. Hold on, Jack, called Kelly, and he rushed to help. Jack couldn't hold the bridge any longer. Are you all right, Jack? I think so. Thomas brought Jack back to the yard. Jack was afraid Miss Jenny would be cross with him. After all, he had jumped in and damaged his arms. But Miss Jenny was pleased. Spot on, Jack, she said. You'd make a mother proud. And a tank engine grateful, Thomas chuffed. It's off to the works with you tomorrow, Jack. The pack can't have a front loader with bent arms. You mean I can stay? I wouldn't have it any other way, Miss Jenny grinned. We're a cracking crew, laughed Kelly. And all the better for Jack's being here, said Isabella. Welcome to the pack, Jack, cheered Alfie. Jack was so happy he couldn't think of anything to say, so he just revved his engine and bounced his bucket. As Thomas steamed toward Tidmouth Sheds, he felt very happy. Yes, he said, welcome to the pack, Jack. 